This video is sponsored by Bai. Hello, my name is Danielle and you're watching Anime Bay. So my last couple of videos have not been haul videos, which means that during that time, boxes have just been kind of piling up in my room and it doesn't really help that during this time, I went on a little bit of a shopping binge. So yes, I am gonna be slowing down from now on. Hopefully I cannot keep up with this volume of things coming in, especially with, you know, DHL and customs and whatnot. But yeah, this was originally supposed to be two videos split up, but I decided to put it all into one video because I like making things difficult for myself. So we should probably just get into it then because we have a lot to get through. So funny enough, we're not even gonna be starting with the items that are behind me right now. We're gonna be starting with all of the items I received from independent artists over this time, which is a lot. I really need to stop browsing on Etsy. <laughs> but all of the shops will be in my description down below. So please, please, please go check them out. I think they just have really cool stuff and I think it's worth it for you to go check them out. But uh, <laughs> let's get into it. So first I'll show you the enamel pins that I received and these are the least anime themed things in this haul. Everything else is very tied to anime, but I still wanna show it because I think they're all really cool. We'll start with what I got off of Dulu Dulu Design. Here's their business card. And then the pin I got off of them is this shoujo manga pin. I personally find it adorable and I am a fan of shoujo manga. So ah, I was really happy to get something to represent that love of shoujo manga. <laughs> and then moving on to what I received from Layla Ashtar Shrine. This is their business card that they gave and it has all of their information on the back. I bought two different pins from them, or I guess it's three in total because one's a pair, but I got this broom pin. <laughs> this is exactly my vibe. I can't really explain what the vibe is. Actually, I did try to explain in something that I'm going to cut out of this video and I just sounded stupid. So all I'm gonna say is it's really, really cool. It's part of a set of pins that you can buy all together, but I just got the pin itself. And I just wanna make a comment about the literal cardboard that they put the pins on is, art in itself. Oh my God, my dog is having fun downstairs. <laughs> and the other pin that I got from them is this Sun and Moon hands pin. Again, the cardboard that comes with it is really, really cool to the point where I don't even wanna take the pin off of these. <laughs> like this is part of the art now. But yeah, these Sun and Moon pins are just really, really nice. Yeah, these are really awesome. <laughs> We're gonna move on because I'm, I'm forgetting that I just have so much to get through that I literally can't spend too much time on each individual item. <laughs> and then the last pin that I received is from Rainy Loon. I've been following them for a while on Twitter. They're very active on Twitter. They're very funny, actually. <laughs> so I was really happy to finally go through with it and get one of their pins, one of their items. This is their business card. And then the pin that I got off of them is... The <laughs> It's this be kind or else <laughs> enamel pin of a frog and I love how threatening it is. I'm so happy to get one of these pins off of them and I will be buying from them in the future. Honestly, I'll say it right now, all of these artists I buy from again. So yeah, very cute, love it. We're gonna have to move on now. <laughs> so now we're gonna get into the keychains that I bought of artists. We're gonna start with what I got from Brown Rabbits. What I got off of them is this toga keychain. This is so ridiculously cute. They have three different types of toga keychains. Um, they have her regular uniform, they have this Oni one, which is the one that I got, and they have a nurse one. Yeah, this is very cute. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of My Hero Academia, but I am a fan of Toga because I just think she's got the cutest design. And uh, from what I hear, she's a yawn today. And I don't know, those two things together, creates an adorable character and I love her very much and that's why I'm very happy to get this keychain of her with some really cool art on it. Anyways, we're gonna move on. <laughs> so the next item is one I got off of Keki on Etsy. This is their business card as well. And the item that I bought off of them is this <laughs> trash can, <laughs> this keychain of Yato in a trash can and then <laughs> Yukin on the other side, just being Yukin around Yato. I don't know. This is so cute though. <laughs> and you will definitely see me get more Noragami stuff in the future and actually in this haul, but this is the first of that and it's adorable and I love it so much. And I think they, they capture each of their characters just so well in it. Yeah. 
I'm gonna move on, but I love this very much. Okay, so the next thing I got is from Doodleless Creations. This is their business card right here. And what they have is they have this little line of Haikyuu keychains where it's the characters of Haikyuu looking as if they're taking a Polaroid together and it's it's really adorable. They have one for Katasuno, they have one for Nakoma, they even have ones with masks on them as a special limited time offer thing, I believe. And the one that I got is the Captain Squad <laughs> one where it has all the captains of Haikyuu together taking a Polaroid and it's just the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> All of their expressions are absolutely perfect. The entire thing is absolutely perfect. And I'm really happy I got this. This is adorable. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I got is from CERN Doodlings, which I'm so happy that I found this shop. But essentially they included their card. And as well, they included this little print of Kageyama and Hinata, which is just adorable. And the items that I got off of them was this Chainsaw Man keychain of power, which is very sweet and cute, and I love it a lot. And we got a print of the Karasuno gang in their style. And it's just such a fun print. I honestly, I don't know how to explain how much I love this, especially with <laughs> Tsukishima in the back being the only one just like done with everybody's shit. I love it. And lastly, I got a print of the Jujutsu Kaisen first years all together in their Lost in Paradise outfits. Once again, just this entire print is just so fun. The way they interact together is just, it seems very accurate. I don't know, I love it a lot. <laughs> and it looks amazing. All of these look amazing. I Moving on to the second last item, which I got from Juchi, which I really hope I said that correctly, but it is this print of Kenma and I'm not going to explain why this is so cool. I love this so much. <laughs> this is that print. This is very nice. I'm gonna move on. All right. I don't... <laughs> I'm gonna try not to do... <laughs> okay. And then lastly, from Studio Velvet KT. I'm trying not to buy too many stickers because I never end up using them. However, I definitely made an exception in this case because there is this sticker of power and it's just like... Look at that. That is, I don't know how to, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so amazing. I love it so much. But the other item that I got off of them is this postcard of the Jujutsu, <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen first years again. And it looks like they are kind of on vacation. There's bunnies all around. And it's, it's so atmospheric. I really love this. I love this so much to the point where I actually did go back to their shop and buy another postcard off of them, which you will see in a future haul, but yeah, I, I think this is great. I think this is so cool. And that are all the items that I got off of independent artists. Now we will get to all of the official anime merch that I bought, which is all behind me. Uh, we're still not going to get into the boxes themselves because there are things that I already unboxed that I still need to show you. Actually, I'm gonna be showing you all of the items that I unboxed in my last video, in my clean out. All of the items that I decided to keep in the box that I opened up. I hope that made sense. It's fine. We're gonna get to that though. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the pinched keychain I got of Amelia. I bought this at a time where I didn't know if I wanted the keychain versions or if I wanted the strap versions of the pinched straps. I decided I do want the strap versions. So when she popped up again on Ami Ami, I did pre-order the strap version of Amelia as well. So now I have doubles. But yeah, super cute, I love this a lot. And then the other item of merch I got is this coaster of Tanjiro. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. I got this coaster of Tanjiro off of Ami Ami as well. And I bought this because I genuinely need a coaster for my desk. And now that I have it and it's so cute, I'm like, oh my God, but what if it gets a coffee stain on it? Like, calm down, <laughs> Danielle, like, let's actually use the items you get. This is cool, I thought it was gonna be cardboard for whatever reason, but it's not. It's legitimately ceramic, which is nice. I enjoy that and I'm happy to have this. And then the last two items that I got from that box were actually the Kaito and Miku from the Hanairo Goromo line from Stronger. And yeah, I love them a lot. Um, <laughs> I already opened them up because they were just like sitting on my floor and I couldn't help myself but try to open them up. 
yeah, they're just as amazing as I thought they would be. They have such cool designs on their kimonos. They all look really well together in my detail with my other figure from that line, and I am definitely looking for the last three figures. Those ones are a lot more expensive though, so we'll be looking for those in the future when I'm a little more financially stable. These are great figures and I love them very much. I'm so happy I got them. Now moving on to, we'll open up a box now because it's about time that I actually open up a box, but. And in this box is a little Kumamonte bear. I ended up buying two of their bears. I have two of their outfits. This one is pink and I have a little Asuka outfit that I'm gonna put on it. But I got this off of Okina Land because the order was closed on Ami Ami, unfortunately. So it did take a lot longer for it to come to me. I, I think it's so cute. <laughs> I'm really happy to have these two. I'm not gonna be buying any more than this. But yeah, these two are really cute. <laughs> and then before we open up this box, I do have some things underneath that, if you can see. First of all, we have this illustration book that I recently bought. I got this because my friend was like, look at this illustration book that I bought. Isn't it cool? And I was like, wait, where did you get that? And then they said Amazon Japan. And then I immediately went to Amazon Japan and bought the illustration book. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. I love the colors. I love the vibe of it. I love the art style. They show both the colored in and non-colored in versions of it. Yeah. Very, very nice. And no, I don't know the name of it because that's how quickly I bought it. So it'll be in the description below. <laughs> and then the last thing that I have that's already opened up is this Tsukishima clear file. Um, I went a little nuts getting clear files because I don't know what it is about clear files now, but I love them a lot. And I saw this one on Ami, Ami and I bought it because it's really cool and I love it. Also, I love Tsukishima. So, Speaking of Tsukishima, <laughs> we have this box here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know or not how new you're on my channel, but essentially I wasn't buying Nendroids. I wasn't buying Nendroids because I just want to save money and space for scale figures. And especially because I knew that if I allowed myself to buy Nendroids, I'd buy the Haikyuu Nendroids. And if I buy the Haikyuu Nendroids, there's no stopping. I'm not... <laughs> I won't be able to stop myself from buying Haikyuu Nendroids, and there's a lot of them. But then recently I started re-watching Haikyuu, and it took all of three episodes for me to start buying Haikyuu Nendroids. So this is the first one that we're receiving. I got this off of Solaris Japan. They were having a deal or whatever where you could get them for 7,800 yen, which is not bad, but you'll see that <laughs> I found a much better way, a much cheaper way to buy Haikyuu Nendroids. Yeah, anyways, we'll get into that later, but essentially, they were selling uh, Tsukishima. I don't know why I presented that. You literally can't see them at all, but <laughs> Solaris Japan was so mean because they literally gave me three shipping options and none of them were available. So I just picked the cheapest shipping option. And then they sent me an email and they were like, yeah, no, you gotta pay 15 bucks more for shipping. You have no choice, you have to do that. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll pay 15 bucks more. Now he's not really a great price, it's fine. And then he arrived and I got a FedEx note and it said, you gotta pay another $15 <laughs> for FedEx. So like, that was so mean, <laughs> but uh, I have him now, he's here. And I was super happy because I love him so much. This video is gonna be super long, but let me just take two seconds to gush about this because <laughs> I am definitely one of those people that loved him from the beginning. Like the moment I saw him, I was like, this is my favorite character. Oh my God, he, he arrives and he just starts berating Kageyama. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, who is this? <laughs> and then he like doesn't even act like he not exists. Like he's in the background, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> he doesn't even give him the time of day. And I'm like, oh my God, who are you? <laughs> yeah, it's not even just like later seasons where I started to like him. No, I liked him from the beginning. <laughs> And I still do. I squeal whenever he's on screen. I love him so much. <laughs> oh my god, look at his face. Look at him. He's so smug. I love it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. He's such a great character. I need... Give me some love for Tsukishima, please. Like, I don't... I'm not, I'm not one to, like, ask for comments or likes. But if you like Tsukishima... No, should I say that? I don't know. I want to... Okay. Is it alright if I say, if you really like Tsukishima, please like this video. Is that okay? 
I hope that's okay with you guys. I'm gonna say that. You don't have to, but like, that'd be cool if you could. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I <laughs> now, at the beginning of the video, I did say that this video is sponsored by Buy, which is a good thing because I bought a bunch of things off Buy that I was, I was buying these anyways. I bought these things before the sponsorship was set. So <laughs> it's really nice that they decided to sponsor me. But Buy is a proxy service that you can use to buy items off of online marketplaces like Amazon Japan, Yahoo Japan Auctions, Mercari. If you sign up using the link in my description, you will get a 2000 yen off coupon, which I think is pretty cool. That's like 20 bucks that you can apply to any purchase on Buy. So I would recommend that you check them out. <laughs> But for now, we're gonna get into these boxes here. I had been using Buy for a while, and as you can see by these items right here. And then I watched Joanna Bark's video on how to buy rare anime figures, and they mentioned that if you put the names in Japanese, you will get a lot more search results. And then that resulted in these two boxes here. So I almost wish I didn't know that, <laughs> but let's get it all opened up. So first of all, these items I found, luckily, even though I was searching in English, and I'm really happy about that because these were kind of must-have items for me, kind of, in a way. Haha! -ha. Okay, so if you've seen my Holy Grail items video, I honestly can't remember what I titled it, but it's a Holy Grail items video, you know that I was looking for this fairy tale wall scroll, which I didn't think I'd ever be able to get, but then I went on by and I looked at Yahoo Japan Auctions and... Oh, okay, that reveal was supposed to be a lot better. <laughs> they put it upside down. <laughs> but yeah, I was able to get the fairy tale wall scroll, which I think was really, really cool. I, oh my God. Dude, I'm so happy I got this. Now this is actually labeled as used and I think they actually said it was like slightly damaged. I don't know where the damage is. I don't know how it was damaged, but I got this for like 20, $30 off of Yahoo Japan auctions, which I think is really cool. And I am very happy that I have this. Yeah, I don't know if my last video made it seem like I was just never buying fairy tale merch again. No, as long as the merch falls within the category of the type of merch I want to get, like clear files, then it doesn't really matter if it's a series that I like or just art that I like or whatever. But yeah, here is a clear file of some fairy tale illustrations. I got this off of Yahoo Japan Auctions as well. I like how it's one clear file with two illustrations. That makes me very happy. Yeah, it's super nice. I like it. And then the last thing that I got before I realized that searching in Japanese would kill my wallet is this Lucy Mouse pad. <laughs> yeah, all of these are fairy tale themed is fine. I feel like a proper degenerate now. <laughs> But yeah, I got this cool Lucy mouse pad and I think it's cool and I like the art and I like Lucy as a character and the titties. Anyways, we're gonna move on <laughs> to this box here, which I accidentally paid protective packaging for and you are gonna see that I did not need protective packaging <laughs> for these items, but yeah. <laughs> It's like handle with care. You really don't need to. You don't need to handle the care. <laughs> right at the beginning of the day at six in the morning when I wake up for work, I noticed that all three of my items had arrived at Bai and I decided to go with package consolidation, which just puts all of the items together. And then I just, I didn't notice that I had also checked off protective packaging. I was still very tired. So look at that. Look at all the protective packaging you get. That's really cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, what's in here are two clear files and a keychain, <laughs> which really doesn't warrant that. That's actually kind of embarrassing. The person packing my <laughs> package was probably like, you sure? <laughs> and speaking of package consolidation, all of this as well were a bunch of different orders. Okay, so let's open up the first one here. Okay, speaking of noragami, <laughs> I actually got this noragami clear file. It's of Yato Yukin and Hiyori. I love this very much. I definitely overpaid for this a little bit. <laughs> um, I think I honestly paid like 20 or $30 for this clear file, but I'm really happy that I was able to get it. Like, I don't think that it's something that you can easily find online. Basically, it's something you can only find if someone decides to sell it secondhand online. So yeah, even though I paid a little, a little bit much for it, I'm still really happy that I was able to get this, especially because a huge reason why I do love Noragami so much is because its art style is like right up my alley. So 
that's this art style right here. I think it's so cool and I'm gonna move on, but I love this very much. I Did I say that with like every item that I've opened up so far? Um, should I just say right now I love all of these items very much or do you just want me to keep going? And then I think this is the keychain. Yeah, okay. <laughs> these are all packed really well, geez. Okay, so if you know my Fruits Baskets video, you know that I got this keychain of Yuki, which I really liked the illustration on, and it was the illustration that was also on the Collector's Editions manga. So I did a little bit more research and figured out that that is actually an entire set with all of the characters, and I am actively collecting those. Just kidding, by actively, I mean when my finances go up a little bit, I will start looking for those again, but... <laughs> so I was able to find both Toru and Kyo on Mercury for $20, $30 which is really amazing because if you look at eBay or anything like that, if you see one of them, they're selling for $70, $80. Like they're very expensive to find online. So the fact that I was able to get two of the main characters for like $30 on Mercari was kind of incredible. And I couldn't really say no to that deal. So yeah, that's them here. I again, love it very much. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the last uh, two clear files actually. This was a set in one as well. These are all packed like really well though. Like these are packed between two pieces of cardboard so they don't get bent. Like I really like that. Haha. -ha. So speaking of the Hana Romo line, they also came out with a bunch of clear files of the characters as well. Little mini clear files. And I was actually able to get Megali, I think is her name. I might be wrong about that. That's the reason why I didn't say any of the names when I was talking about it earlier is because I'm not sure on all of them. Ren, Rin, Megadine. I don't know what the name of the girl I have is. Or maybe her name is Megadine. We're getting off topic, but yeah. So I was able to get this one as well as Miku. So I was able to get these two mini clear files of them and I was really happy I was able to do that. I got them off of Markari as well. I definitely did not think that I was gonna shop so much on Markari. I thought I was gonna stick mainly to Yahoo Japan or Amazon Japan, but oh my God, have I been finding some really cool stuff on there as you've already seen here, as you'll see more here. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> these are awesome. I'm really happy to get more clear files. I think I have more in this box. I don't even know. <laughs> To me, it's like a fun way to get art that you can just kind of put away and that you can go through after. I don't know. I really like them though. All of these are in separate boxes. So we'll start with what's in this one, which I don't know. I don't know what's in this one. Oh. So remember how I was saying once... <laughs> so remember how I was saying that if I started buying Haikyuu Nendroids, I wouldn't be able to stop? <laughs> I found out that you can find Haikyuu Nendroids on Yahoo Japan Auctions for pretty cheap. You have to be diligent in looking because, you know, they can still sell them for expensive prices, which I also bought expensive prices. Here we have Kageyama. <laughs> I was able to get him. He was one of the ones I was able to get a really good price on. Um, he was already opened and he was in general B condition. Yeah, I was able to get him for a really great price. That's the first one because there's more. <laughs> We're gonna see what's in this box. My guess is maybe another Android. And I was right. This one I am a bit bitter about because essentially the Kodon Android had just released and I had missed him a couple of times on Ami Ami because Buy Friend was just, it was not working for me. Every time they would say that something was in stock, I would go to Ami Ami and it would not be in stock. And I was getting really frustrated. When I saw him on Yadu Japan Auctions on Buy for 5,000 yen, I believe. I bought him. This was right when I had figured out about the Japanese name thing. So I definitely wasn't looking as thoroughly through Yahoo Japan auctions as I should have and kind of went with the first best price that I saw. So since I bought him, he has come up on Ami Ami multiple times, <laughs> including today. <laughs> And I've seen him on Yahoo Japan auctions for a better price as well. Also for a worse price, don't get me wrong. You do have to do a little bit of research or look around, but I did get him for 5,000 to 6,000 yen, which still isn't the worst price ever. But uh, now that I know a little bit more, <laughs> I definitely hopefully won't make that mistake again. But yeah, we have the Kudo Nendroid. <laughs> and he's very cool and I'm very happy. He was brand new, so he's not supposed to be opened up. And we, another Haikyuu Nendroid. All right, I am just stacking them up over there. Let's take a break from Nendroids to see what's in these packages. 
We do have more clear files. All right. <laughs> We have this clear file from Fruits Baskets and Other, which is the follow-up series to Fruits Baskets. I was really happy that I was able to get this, especially because I don't think that it's very easy to find Fruits Baskets and Other merch online. I think it's really cool, actually. I like the whole vibe of it all as well. So yeah, we have this other clear file of Fruits Baskets and Other that's <laughs> added one more to the collection. We have this package. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I was actually able to get this little keychain of Levi and it's this like Sakura version. He looks super cute. I think it's really like unique. So I was really happy I was able to get this. I had to wait literally a whole week for the auction to end because I got this off of Yahoo Japan auctions, but it was worth it. I think I got him for 1500 yen. I realized that I don't think that I've said the prices that I got everything at but I also don't remember what they are and I forgot that that was something I should probably write down beforehand so I don't know he was yeah around like 13 14 dollars though and I like it because it's unique and it's fun and it's Levi and <laughs> that's this and then the last this is not the last package I still have more to get through in this <laughs> package maybe I should have done this as two different videos this is a lot oh oh my god okay this was the purchase that solidified that I would be using Mercari a lot more often. Essentially, I got this whole set of Haikyuu keychains where they're in this, is it Hanfu? I really don't want to guess too much because I feel like I'm just gonna get it wrong. I saw this and I was so happy I was able to get it. I think I got this for like $20. Yeah, definitely not something that you'd find just every day searching for Haikyuu stuff. Or maybe it is, I don't, I don't think so though. Yeah, I'm real, I love these. I <laughs> Oh my god, I have a lot of stuff in here, okay. There is a figure in here and there is more than birds. So, working my way there. <laughs> okay, so we have another Fruits Baskets item. So once again, I was searching on Mercari. I was looking at this Shigure acrylic stand and it also comes with a little uh, pin as well, which is really cute. Oh no, this is a magnet. Okay, it comes with a little magnet, all right. But yeah, I was looking at it and I looked at the base of it and I thought, oh my God, that looks familiar. Wait a minute. And I looked at my Toru acrylic stand, which I had talked about in multiple videos, the latest one being my Fruits Baskets video, of course. And I realized that he is from the same set as that Toru one, because it's a set of TV Tokyo, where they're all in cosplays. I honestly couldn't believe that I was able to find another one of the characters from that set. And definitely in the future, if I'm able to find another one of the characters from that set, I'll be getting it as well. But yeah, this is, from my own knowledge, a very rare item. <laughs> so I was very happy to be able to get it. I could not believe it that I was able to get him. And he even comes with a little magnet too. I don't even have that for Toru. There's two big boxes in here and I don't know which one's the figure and I want to open up the figure one last. So like, which one do I open up? <laughs> oh no. Let's start with this Amazon Japan one. Oh, oh my God, okay. <laughs> I'm super excited for this Nendroid. I think I was the most excited for this Nendroid after Tsukishima. So I don't know what that tells you. Essentially, I was able to get Tsukawara. <laughs> I know that I liked Sugawara and I definitely really liked his Nendroid, but now that I'm rewatching the series, I love him. Like, obviously not as much as Tsukishima, but I still really, really love him as a character. And I think he has such a cool Nendroid and I'm really happy that I was able to get it. And I think I was able to get it for something like 8,000 yen, seven, 8,000 yen, maybe 6,000 yen, I can't remember. It's a decent price for him though, because I'm pretty sure he's difficult to find and or pretty expensive, like around 10,000 yen. Yeah. I was really happy I was able to get him. Ah, okay. <laughs> Add him to my high key pile, which is still not done. It's not, it's not finished yet. <laughs> Did you understand what I mean now when I said, oh, I don't want to buy Nendroids because if I start buying high key Nendroids, I won't be able to stop. Do you understand what I mean by that? My philosophy is that if I see one for a good price somewhere and I have the money to buy it, I'll probably buy it. Or if I'm shopping in like real life in a shop and I see one, even if it's not for the best price, I'll still probably buy it. That's my philosophy, which means that these will not be the last high Hyuna droids that you see. I can't remember what's in here. It's the Fruits Baskets postcard that I was talking about in my last video. I ended up winning that auction and now I have a cute Fruits Baskets postcard. And um, it's very nice. It's got its art, its manga art on it, and it makes me happy. So I'm gonna put this to the side now, but this, I got that as well. 
And then what's in this one, which again, cannot remember. Um, <laughs> I was so excited about all of this stuff that I kept on looking at the listings that I won. So you'd think that I would remember all the items that I bought because I kept on looking at the listings over and over again. But here we are, being able, unable to remember. Oh, it's an origami again. <laughs> this is a Noragami clear file, another one that I won. Again, super cool. Again, really love it. And it's in the, its manga art style. It's of Yato and it's adorable. It's a little mini clear file and I'm very happy that I got this. Anyway, it's gonna move on. <laughs> Huh. This one looks a bit smaller, so I think this is the last Nendroid. It's not. <laughs> no. It, the last Nendroid can't be in here. Why is this box so big? Okay, so this is another Nendroid where I was disappointed again with the price that I paid because I was A, frustrated again because of Buy Friend because I kept on missing listings on AmiAmi. And B, I hadn't yet known about the searching in Japanese thing. So he was like the only listing available at this point. Now that I know about the searching in Japanese thing, I have seen him come up for cheaper prices, <laughs> but it's still nice that I have him. Yeah, I think I paid like 7,000 yen for him. Not like the worst price in the world, but definitely not as good as you can get in other listings. We have the Oikawa Nendroid. I got him as well. This is my, I officially just opened up five Haikyuu Nendroids when I wasn't buying Haikyuu and Nendroids at all before this, so that tells you where I'm at with this. But yeah, we have Oikawa. He's looking great. I'm very happy. And I have nothing else to say. Like, I'm. this is just super cool that I was able to get this. I'm, even with all the not great prices, I'm still really happy that I was able to get them in the end. It sucks that I literally looked over all of their pre-orders on AmiAmi and didn't buy them because I was like, oh, I'm not buying Haikyuu Nendroids. That one for 4,000 yen? Screw it, let's pay 7,000 yen when he's finally released. Let's do that instead. It's fine though, we have him, I'm happy. And he is now added to my tower of Haikyuu Nendroids. It's on my bed right now. And then the last thing that I got off of Yahoo Japan Auctions, oh my God, I cannot believe I was able to get this. I got this one tenth, this is a one tenth scale figure as well too. <laughs> of Hiyori from Noragami. This is from Mega House. This is my first Mega House figure. This is a pretty old figure. There's not many figures of Yato or Hiyori or any of the other characters, of course. I got this for 26,000 yen. And if you think that's expensive, in the aftermarket, you <laughs> kind of have to pay 50,000 yen. 60,000 yen, maybe 40,000 yen. So I got an extremely good deal on this. I'm sure you can find deals that are similar to this um, if you're diligent about it. Because I was diligent about it, I was able to get her for 26,000 yen. And I'm very, very happy about that. She looks amazing, she looks cool, and I'm very excited. Yato, on the other hand, is even more expensive and difficult to find. He rarely pops up anywhere <laughs> when he does. Uh, to put it into perspective, he popped up on my figure collection, someone was selling him for $1,500 US. I'm Canadian, so that would be more around $1,800 to $2,000. If you go to eBay, where you can find him, you can see him for, again, $1,500, $2,000. He is so expensive. He's, he's so, he's the 100th most wished for figure on my figure collection at the moment. I don't think I'll ever be able to get him. But if I can, that would be so amazing because then I can put him with Yori and I'd be very happy. Anyways. <laughs> and that's it for everything from buy. Why do I feel like that took a long time? I wonder how long it's, oh my God, is this gonna be like another hour long video? I'm not doing it on purpose. I make my videos as long as they need to be and they've just ended up being very long <laughs> recently. I'm so sorry. Anyways, we are finally gonna get into my AmiAmi. -Ami. I can't remember where I got this from, but there's two AmiAmi -Ami packages here. <laughs> We're reaching the end, guys, and these are all scale figures as well, so. We have the AmiAmi -Ami card. Should I save this figure for last? Let's save it for a little bit later. Cause that, that, this is a must, this is a, also another figure with a high aftermarket value and difficult to find. So let's save that for a little bit later. Oh, I think I know what this is, okay. I got, I, this is the first Figma I ever bought. 
I got this from Good Smile Company because I did get a bonus item with it. And this is the Figma Lands Fighter from the illustrator Neko. I, she's so cool. Like she's so cool. The character design and everything about it is just so ridiculously cool. I'm so excited to pose her and have fun with her. I'm also excited to see their other scale figures that are currently being made at the moment. There's definitely a chance that I'm gonna be pre-ordering those. But yeah, for now I have this Figma and she looks really cool. And the bonus part that she comes with is actually a personalized stand that I really like. And definitely it'll make displaying her even cooler, I think. So I was really happy that I was able to get this through pre-ordering on Good Small Company. We'll save the opened up Ami Ami box for last. We'll open up this one next. Uh, the Ami Ami card is the same as the other one, so no need to look at that. Yeah, so speaking of Chainsaw Man, I was able to get this big sticker of Denji and Power. They look really cool together. It's very yellow. Is it supposed to be like that? <laughs> Don't know. I'm not gonna think too much into it though. I got this, it's very cool. And then I got, I finally got this pre-order of Chrysula Vulcancy. <laughs> oh my God, the box is so nice. What? Okay, so like, look at this box. It's so, I don't know, it feels premium. Is it just the colors? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. I got Chrysula Vulcancy. She looks absolutely gorgeous. This is by Reverse Studio, so I believe this was actually the first figure that they ever released. They did just recently announce another one, and she also looks amazing to the point where even though I didn't know who she was, I was considering pre-ordering her. <laughs> but she's so cute, okay. I don't have the time or like space or whatever to open them up, which is unfortunate. Oh my god, she's amazing! Speaking of this figure, this is a figure that started the trend in my own collection, where I get very pretty girls, in evening wear with guns and or alcohol. A lot of them have alcohol as well. And I, it's, I'm so for it. Especially since a lot of them have this kind of like, they're looking down on you. And it's, I don't know how to explain why. It's like just the perfect expression. <laughs> oh my God, like stop, don't look at me like that. <laughs> and then, oh, okay. <laughs> and then we have a figure that I have been looking for for a while and I could not, okay. So remember how I was saying that my friend has let me down so many times and I got frustrated about that and ended up impulse buying some figures and whatnot. Well, essentially I got a notice from my friend that a figure, a very popular and sought after figure was available on Ami Ami and I was like, mm hmm, sure, she's not already bought yet, fine by friend, but I'll humor you. Let me go check out Ami Ami. And I'm like, you know, it's loading very slowly. And I'm like, there's no way that she's still available. But she was, she was still there and I could not believe it. And I bought her and I'm so happy. I got her for 22,000 yen, which is the perfect price that if she ever got re-released, I wouldn't be that mad that I paid this amount for her. Because usually she's around four or $500, so. We got the Alter Shitoge figure. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot believe I was able to get this. She's got a very cute box. I feel like you can't really see it in here. It is such a fun figure. It's from Alter. We all know, or if you don't know, now you know, I am a hoe for Alter. I have been looking for this figure since I started figure collecting last year. I did get her item A, which means it's unopened. However, box C, which means it's damaged. So this is what the damage is, as you can see here, there's like a cut. So because of that, I was able to get her for 22,000 yen. But honestly, since the figure is fine, do I really care? No. But yeah, so yeah, I was able, I was able to get her. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited to display her. I did. <laughs> I didn't just almost drop her. It's fine. So that was a long haul. <laughs> but uh, we got, we got a lot of stuff. And I'm, I'm so ridiculously happy about all of it. I hope I won't be doing a video with this big of a haul in the future. I'm sorry if you like these because that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> but knowing my tendency to online shop, I can't guarantee that. <laughs> so yeah, if you stuck in there with me throughout this whole haul, wow. 
I had a good time unboxing things. I thought this was fun. I really hope that you enjoyed it as well. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Discord if you want to check those out. Only if you want to, of course. Thank you for watching and sticking in there with me. And thank you so much for subscribing if you did that. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.